my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an easy girl with holding a cell phone. So let's just get started. So right now we're just going to be making kind of like an outline, but um, of the drawing. So uh, it's not good. We'll like go back and we'll make it like look good and all. But this is just how it's going to be looking. So the first step is that you make basically just an outline of your phone just make it in the middle not too big not too small so kind of looking like this and um just make sure to make it even so basically this is just the outline of our phone so next we are going to be adding the details of the phone so Basically, just make like a line almost basically the same as the phone, except like it's just a little bit smaller. So just following the line that you made for the actual outline of the phone, just follow it with a line inside. And you should get something like this. So now... We are going to be adding one part for the top of your phone. Something like this. And you can just add your camera like this. So next we'll start with the hand. So, um, Kind of something uh, like, not this, um, basically like this. So now you just want to make it slightly shorter so that we have room for the hand. And you can just um, add some little bumps. So we're going like this, almost like a cloud. That's how we'll create our um, hand. So you keep it like this, and then we can add little lines sticking out just like this. And you can just make this a little bit bigger. Continue this part and just end it kind of here. Not that slanted, but kind of continue it over here, like this maybe. And then you've continued it here. And now just this longer and end it there. So then you can erase the parts inside. And I will just zoom in a little bit so that you guys can see this a little bit better. Um, but erase, you can erase that, and then we can start um, making the other part. Like, um, basically opposite to the, the little cloud thing. i um, just going to make, again, the same thing, except on the opposite side. And like this. And then make your line, and then you can color in that extra space to make it look very like like um like shadowed kind of and stuff. But um yeah. So now we'll be making more of the hand. So first let's start off with the thumb. So we were here, right? So now we will just swoop down and um, just go up like this. And 
second come down. So it looks kind of sharp, so I'm going to make it a little smoother. I'm gonna come down like this, then kind of make like a small curve. Like this, and sorry, not that bold. And I'll just brace this. Kind of make your nail. And just make your nail like this. And um, over here, I'm just going to fix it so that it looks a little bit better. So this is how the thumb looks. And now I'm just going to be making the pinky nail. So yeah. So we're going to be down here now. So um, I'm just going to make my finger. And ends like this. Kind of like this. So now we're going to be doing the ring finger. So I'm just going to start from here and kind of like curve back onto the pinky and just come up and I will erase this a little bit. The nail should be kind of thin um, so that it looks like a regular nail. Um, and it, like, it should be a little bit thinned at the top and, but more fatter at the bottom. And make sure that your, um, nail is a little bit bigger than your finger. Like, um, it's not like one straight line. Um, but yeah, like this kind of. So right now it may look a little bit awkward, but, um, this is how it's going to look, um, but yeah. So next, I'm just going to erase this beforehand. We're going to make our middle finger. So this is very similar to the ring finger. We're going to curve it back like this and we're going to come up and then we will make our nail. Except this time it's just a little bit higher than our ring finger. Make sure it's like in a similar angle as, uh, previous fingers so I just realized I kind of made this a little bit squished so I'm going to change it so yeah kind of like this but yeah and next uh, we will do our pointer finger so for this one um, it is similar to the uh, ring finger and middle finger but it's just a little bit curved out like this and back, top. It's just curved out like this a little bit. So then we can make the nail. So make sure it's around the same height as your ring finger because your pointer finger and your ring finger um, they're very similar, like size, um, so make sure it's around the same height and the nail is about the same too. Kind of like this. So, uh, the nails are basically in place here, so yeah. So now we are going to finish off the nails by making some um, reflections on it. So basically just make like a little, a long oval on the nail like this. And just color in the rest of the nail. Make sure the rest of the nail is pretty dark. 
so that the reflection actually looks like a reflection. And I think I'm going to make my reflection a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to erase. So it's super easy to make, to adjust your reflection. So um, yeah, that's what I really like. And just do that to the other fingers too. So basically we are going to be now coloring our phone. So um, just color it all black. And um, once I'm finished, you'll understand what I mean. So this was basically what I meant when uh, I said color the phone. So this is like the outline of the phone and I just colored it. So um, also make sure that for your nails, um, I don't know if you can uh, exactly see this, but I kind of made like a line around the nail. So that way it's still like pops out and it actually still looks like the nail is there like it's not blended in with the phone so make sure you do that because otherwise um it could look a little bit confusing and weird so now we are going to be getting into the shading part so this is like one of the last steps in the drawing but yeah so we're going to start off by shading over here and uh, don't worry if this looks kind of bad right now, um, we're going to fix it later, but just a tiny bit of shading right over here. So uh, yeah, and do that to the other fingers too, just a little bit of shading. And uh, so make sure to use your pencil kind of lightly to give that effect. Like, don't be very harsh with it. And just kind of try to blend it in like this. And then we can do the thumb too. So the thumb, you do it in multiple areas. Um, so kind of like this. And we will kind of blend that like that. And um, a little bit over here, just make it like this. So just go make it like this, and um, kind of like that. But um, make it a little lighter, and yeah, kind of like that. Basically, that's how it should look. The thumb, and then um, so this part is a whole other idea. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm gonna show this. So. Basically, first of all, make your lines like darker because we are going to be shading underneath them. So you want to still know where your curves were at. So that way they don't get like lost kind of, but yeah. So here we're just going to shade and make it like just, um, we're gonna do this and then we're kind of going to let it go off like this. So how it's dark over here, and then it gets a little bit less dark as it goes out. So basically like that. And if you would like, you can just do it uh, one curve at a time, but um, yeah. So let's do it like this and spread it out. So again, we're going to fix it, so don't worry if it doesn't look the best right now. And you can do the same on the other side, just um, a little bit less of like making it also that dark. Like you don't make it that dark for the top part because we can't see that as well. We're not supposed to be able to see that part as well, but yeah, it's still there. So that's we're supposed to get that effect kind of. And this is why you like um, keep the sides kind of dark. So that way um, it really like pop, it kind of like, it looks more 3D then too. It pops out more. So kind of like this. And you can also just kind of these areas. I'm just gonna color it in a bit more. But this is how the cuff should kind of look like. Um, and then uh, inside, we're also gonna do something. So kind of like this. And like this. So just keep kind of doing that on the curves. And I'll just 
just finish it off right there. So, kind of like this. Oops. Like this. And then kind of connect um, the little curves we made. Like this. And um, now we can do a little bit more on our sleeve. So, make the sides darker again. And shade on the sides. Kind of like this. Again, um, it, even though it kind of looks, it doesn't look very like. Uh, it kind of looks a little rough, the shading, so uh, we can f we'll fix it up a little later, but yeah. And uh, just make sure you like it. And also on the wrist, we're also going to do a tiny bit, just to give it a, like, kind of, to, just to make it look, like, just a little bit more realistic and make it pop a bit. So, like this. So now we're going to be using these blending stumps. So, um, if you do not have these, don't worry about it. You can just use a tissue and just roll it up and, um, basically you'll get one of these and, um, yeah, it works really well it's for blending. So I got a small one and a big one. So the big one is for like the big parts, like the hand and the small one is like for the hair and stuff, but yeah, so Just kind of lightly go over this, um, and it looks really pretty and very cool. And do the same for the other ones. It's good if you kind of made um, your shading thing in the beginning kind of light, because uh, otherwise it just um, it will kind of. Like it won't very, it look, it won't, it'll be like too dark. So for example, this one, I think I did a little bit too dark, dark, too much shading there too. So just erasing that. Like this. And lastly, our pointer finger. Should look like that. And um, yeah, basically you use the sandpaper to clean your blending stump. Use it and it will clean it basically. Um, yeah. So now we can do the thumb. Um, here. And up here too. Like that. So now we can get to working on the arm. So I may need this, but yeah. So here I'm just going to lightly blend it. gets dirty easily. <laughs> you have to clean it constantly. And now we can work on the um, inside little curves. Make sure to keep it clean because here especially we don't want to overdo the blending part. Like this. I'm just kind of doing it in a circle motion. That's how I'm blending it. So if you're using like a tissue or something, when you roll it up, um, you can like kind of just use like, rotate it in like a circle kind of way, but yeah. 
and um, I'm just going to fix the first few ones because I think they got a little dark. So now that the cuff is done, we can do the sleeve. Basically, this part is really, really simple. Um, it does not really require much. If you're using a tissue, just keep like brushing it kind of like this. Also, if beforehand um, it wasn't very, like your line that you made wasn't very like rough, then it'll turn out nice. Mine was a little rough, so I'm just going to fix it and continue doing it. like this so uh, I think that looks really realistic now let's blend over here like this kind of again a little bit of the circle motion but also following a line with the line uh, along with the line. I'm also going to make it a little bit less big because as I said earlier, you're not supposed to be able to see that part very well. Like this. So here is the completed drawing. And um, I think this looked really nice and um, I had a lot of fun making it and I feel like this really um, displays a lot of lessons that you learn in art too, um, like uh, like shading and um, reflections and overlapping, a lot of things like that um, and like how to make it kind of like pop out too. I felt like this really explored a lot of that and um, uh, the end product looked really good in my opinion. So um, I hope you guys tried this out, and if you do, comment below and let me know if you liked it at all. And um, if you want more drawing videos, um, I can definitely make more, and um, comment below on that too if you want more. So um, yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share, and um, I will see you in the next video. Bye!